Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. Today we went to Karen Chair. We have five bags and a loose figure, and we remembered to hide the forkies, so that's a good start. Uh, I have Giggles here in the studio with me, and Rebecca's favorite find is our first segment. At the end of the show, she'll tell us what her favorite find is, and then... Uh, uh, where's Forky is our second, uh, segment, and we have hidden where, uh, both Forkies, Little Forky and Big Forky on the set, and it's your job to find them. So, let's see what we have for tonight. So, we have a bag of dinosaurs, and we have a Triceratops, uh, pretty big, solid plastic. He is marked 1998 Triceratops. We have a, uh, looks to be like an Imaginext uh, dinosaur. And he might not be Imaginext, but he looks pretty close to it. And then he looks like a Velociraptor or something. Let's see if he has any markings. He does have a sound box, but I'm not sure how you make that sound. Maybe ooh, ooh. <laughs> what? I'm just making up my own sound effects. Oh, there we go. So if you pull his legs forward, he screams and yells and lights up. He sounds more like a Godzilla nope. than a dinosaur. No, I honestly don't know what dinosaurs sound like. So. And then here that. is a Triceratops. This looks like that one show with the uh, the animals on wheels. You remember that one? Oh. Um, I'm not sure. Mammals on uh -oh. uh, Let's see if there's any markings. It says made in China, mm. three bees and me. So I'll have to look that up, three bees and me. It's a triceratops on wheels. And then we have a bag of cars. We have a race car number five from Tonka with eyes. We have a race car number five from Tonka with eyes. We didn't have to refilm that one. I just said the same thing twice. <laughs> and nothing runs like a deer. We have a John Deere. Uh, looks like a Cub Cadet kind of... Um, Golf cart? Yeah, like a utility vehicle, right? Oh, yeah. And then we have a car's car, like a hot rod. And then we have a Lightning McQueen, number 95. And both of these last two, all, all five of these cars are die cast. What is that? So it means they're metal. Oh. Feel how heavy they are. Oh, wow. See, this one's real heavy. Is that, like, hard to make? Um, so they have to make a mold and then um, push the metal around it. Huh. And then it forms the shape of the car. And then they paint it and everything else. That's interesting. So we have Wanda Maximoff, uh, the Scarlet Witch. Rebecca was afraid we were running out of her, so we have to stock up. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Joker uh, with a giant mallet. And when you press his coattails... The mallet goes up and down. And then you have the falcon. And we have another robot from Discovery Robots. I keep wanting to say Discovery Plus. Yeah. Discovery we don't have that subscription. Sadly. And here is a Hulk figure from Thor Ragnarok. We have, um, darn, we even looked him up. He was in another one of the episodes. Mm -hmm. He's from Marvel. I don't remember what his name was. It could be Executioner. I'm not Executioner. sure. Executioner? Yeah. And then there is this guy who has no markings. He is a construction worker, 
uh, the size of like a GI Joe. So then our last bag, last but not least bag. Ooh, that's cool. I'll save that for last. Last but not least. This is the mom or sister. Could be a sister. From Dinosaurs. There was a TV show with these uh, people in dinosaur costumes that walked around. Not creepy and there at was all. A, there was a, a baby <laughs> who kept whacking the dad and he would say, not the mama, not the mama. For what? Oh, she kept whacking the mom? The baby whacked the dad. Oh. There's a Kylo Ren keychain. Let's squish it down. Here is a... Sith Trooper, that squashes down. Uh, let's see. Not sure who these girls are, but we'll find out. I think they're DC. Um, not DC, it might be DC, but I'm not sure. Uh, they say Mysticons Burger King on the bottom. There's a blue one, and there is a green one. So I'm not sure if they're DC, but they're some kind of superhero Mysticons. And the thing I saved for last is pretty cool. Um, let's see how it works. It is a double-sided toy from Captain Planet. Captain Planet was a cartoon about saving it was probably one of the first cartoons that were talking about saving the environment. Hmm. So you have the bad guy with the toxic waste on one side, and then on the other side, you have what looks to be the planet. Let's see if I can get his head through. It looks to be the planet, and the top says Captain Planet. So I did find oh. one of his figures, uh, a couple of his figures here and there. Let's see if there's a year on here. It says 1990 uh, DIC Entertainment and Burger King. So very cool. So uh, last thing is the loose figure, which is molded on what used to be, um, it was a mail away transformer uh, that you could get. And I had it as a kid. But it, this one is a Spider-Man, and it flips down and turns into, like, a ship. And then when you pull back, he shoots across the room and then flips up and becomes Spider-Man. So, very cool. So, Rebecca, what is your favorite find? Um, the blue girl. This one? Yeah. So, we'll get her name. Uh, but the blue Mysticon is, we'll fix her arm, is uh, Rebecca's favorite find. Stick her right there. Uh, where's Forky, Rebecca? So, Big Forky is upside down right here in the arm Oh, pit. yeah, I did not know where you put him, that's why. And then Little Forky is between the oh, legs right here. And oh. let's look right here. Did you go into camera? Again? <laughs> oh and my, my favorite find once again is Rebecca's <laughs> oh big my head. God. So thank you, giggles. Um, so that's all we have for tonight. Uh, if you like what you see, hit like, share, and subscribe. We will have lots of giggles after this <laughs> ends. And uh, we enjoyed sending our outtakes to my brother, so that was fun. Um, have a great night, and we will see you next time.